November is lung month and the Ontario Lung Association is highlighting some startling statistics. One in five people in our province suffers from a chronic lung disease. Andrea Puno now with how 3D technology could change how some conditions are treated. I think uh, a lot of smokers have the symptoms, but they deny that they're having symptoms. It's the cough, the sputum, um, and it comes and goes. And you say, oh, I'm getting better, everything will be fine, but it's not. Relying on the strength of his walker, Glenn Kitchener's lung capacity isn't what it used to be. I get winded very easily. 41 years of smoking led to a progressive form of lung disease called COPD, which affects one in five smokers. Glenn quit three years before his diagnosis, but it wasn't enough to reverse the damage. Keep looking straight ahead. While there's no cure for the disease, a U of T study is hoping to change the way patients undergo pulmonary rehab. The research includes this 3D software. Arms by your side. And it's looking at whether there's a connection between COPD and poor posture. What you're seeing on this screen are reflective markers that have been placed all over my body. We can see them here. Along with this, nine cameras have been set up to take a look at my every move. Individuals often complain of a lot of uh, back pain, lower back pain and upper back pain. And we're interested to know whether uh, postural changes actually contribute to that pain or cause that pain. When we spin it around, we can see this line of markers going down his spine. We're hoping after the study that we can come up with an intervention to manage the pain. OK, and relax. Well done. For now, only about 2% of Canadians with lung disease have access to rehab since space is so limited. Physical therapy is one of the only treatment options for COPD. Five seconds to go. Glenn wasn't able to reverse the damage to his lungs, but he's hopeful his story will inspire others to recognize early signs of the disease, like a chronic smoker's cough. Prevention is the key, and if we can start uh treatment a little earlier with people, maybe uh, people won't end up in the same position as me. Andrea Puno, City News.